Well, hi everyone. So, uh, welcome to our first maths lesson. So we're going to try and do our maths lessons five video as well, just like we've done our phonics videos. Um, so, have you got your tense frame? Have you got your part part whole? And have you got your number cards? If you haven't, press pause now. Okay, let's get started. So the first thing that we're going to do is I am going to clap my hands. I'm going to clap my hands so you can't see, but you will be able to hear the sounds that I make. I would like you to count them and then show me how many you hear with your number card at home. Okay, are we ready? Here comes the first one. Three, two, one, show me, show me. Brilliant, everybody, fantastic work. Three, I clapped three times. One, two, three. Okay, let's go again. Three, two, one, show me, show me. Brilliant, great job, me too, I counted. Two claps, fantastic. Okay, let's go again. Three, two, one, show me, show me. What did you count? <gasps> I got it as well. There, are five claps, fantastic. Right, your turn. I'm going to show you a number card with a numeral and a number, and I want you to tap your table, clap your hands, snap your fingers, stamp your feet that many times. Okay, are you ready? Here we go. Brilliant, well done. Stamp one time, clap one time, click your fingers one time, one. Brilliant, okay, let's go again. Uh, you ready? Done, four stamps, four claps, four jumps. I can see somebody jumping there in the background. Well done, four jumps. Okay, are you ready? Steady. Brilliant job. Three claps, three jumps, three stamps, three stomps. Brilliant, well done everyone, three. Okay, so one last one, you ready? Steady. Well done, two claps, two jumps, two stamps, two finger snaps, fantastic, well done. Okay, last little challenge. Okay, using your counting tools, maybe your cubes or your cars or whatever it is that you chose to count with, I'm gonna show you a numeral again and I want you to make it with your cards. I'll show you an example. Okay, here we go. I'm going to show you mine. So I've put a numeral out and I've made it with my counting objects. Can you see there? So there is the numeral four. You can see it's got one, two, three, four spots. And with my cubes, I've made four as well. So my four cubes represents the four spots. My four cubes represents the numeral four. Okay, so it's your turn. Are you ready? So I'm going to show you a numeral. I'm gonna give you some moments to do it. I want you to build it with your counting things and then we'll see it all together. Are you ready? Here we go. I'd like you to make that number. I'd like you to represent this number with your counting objects. Okay, are you ready? I'm going to count down from three and I want you to show me what you've got. Three, 
two, one, show me, show me. Fantastic. I like all those things you're counting with. I can see some dinosaurs over there and some cars over there. Brilliant. Here's what I did. There's our numeral three that you can see. And you can see my one, two, three cues representing the number three. Good job, everyone. Well done. Okay, let's play one more time. Here we go. Okay, you can see the numeral there, you can see the spots. I'd like you to make that with your counting objects. Quick sticks. Are you ready? Three, two, one. Show me, show me. Brilliant, brilliant. Did anybody know what that numeral was? That's right, it said five. So with your counting objects, you should represent five with your things. Here's what mine looked like. There's the numeral five, and you can count by red cubes. There are one, two, three, four, five red cubes. My red cubes, represent the numeral five. There are five of them. Well done, everyone. Okay, brilliant, good job. Okay, let's try some more counting. Now this time, instead of using your counting object, and instead of using your numeral cards, what I'd like you to do is just to see if you can count. Now remember, we've done all that counting before, haven't we? Those small numbers that we just know by looking at them. I bet you can do it with this picture. Okay, here it comes. Okay, there you go, you can see my picture. I think it looks a little bit like a garden center. You may recognize it. You might have been to a garden center yourself before. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask you to find some things in it and tell me how many you see. Okay, super easy. Are you ready? How many people can you see sitting on the bench? Yes, well done. There are two people sitting on the bench. Okay, are ready? Here comes another one. How many roses, red roses, can you see in the pot next to the bench? Yes, well done. There are three red roses in the pot next to the bench. Hmm. I wonder if you can tell me how many triangular trees you can see next to the bench. Well done, there are three triangular trees next to the bench. Fantastic, good job everyone. Okay, now here's a tricky one. Are you ready? Look carefully at the picture. How many cars can you see? How many cars can you see in the picture? That's right, there are zero, there are no cars in the picture. <gasps> That's interesting. Interesting number. Zero means nothing. Zero means there are none. Hmm. I say, you say, none. Well done. I say, you say, nothing. Well done. I say, you say, zero. Well done. I wonder, can you draw me the numeral zero in the air? Well done, everyone. Yeah, we start, start at the top, zero. It loops all the way round to the top. 
zero, nothing, none. Now, we're going to watch together an episode of Number Blocks. You like Number Blocks, don't you? Good. Now, this one is the episode where we meet zero, okay? I'll be pausing and stopping a little bit along the way just to talk to you about what you're watching, but let's enjoy Number Blocks. Well, that was fun, wasn't it? So zero means nothing. Zero means there's nothing there. Everything is gone. If you've got a biscuit in your hands and you eat it, it's gone. Nothing, no biscuits left. Okay. Are you ready for a little game? Right, so your challenge is going to be See if you can borrow, you'll have to ask first. See if you can borrow mummy or daddy's phone or camera. And I want you to hunt the house for things that represent zero. Things around your house where there is nothing. I'll show you. I had an idea. I thought, do you know what I'll do? I'll show them first. So here it is. I have got, just wait for it, my sweetie jar. Here it is. There's my sweet jar. Now I think my, oh no, hang on. There's one left. We don't want one left. That doesn't represent zero. I'll eat it. There we go. <clears throat> Tasty sweetie. Now look inside my jar. My jar has no sweeties. There's nothing left. My jar represents zero. Can you think of something at your house that might be a little bit like that? I bet you can. Here's another one. So this is my glass of juice. I, oh, hang on. Whoops, I've not finished it. It's still got juice in. That doesn't represent zero, does it? That doesn't represent none. That doesn't represent nothing. One second. That's better. It's all gone now. I've drunk my juice. My cup is empty. My cup now represents zero. Nothing. None. I wonder if you can hunt a house for things that represent nothing, none, or zero. I bet you can. Okay, press pause. Go hunt out. So here is your challenge. With your phone, with your camera, Take some pictures, and mommy or daddy will help you a little bit later. Stick them on a piece of paper and send me a photograph over the internet so I can see what you found that represents zero. Okay, boys and girls, well done. I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye-bye.